Today, we will have a look at enums and how you can use them in C++ for Unreal Engine. First of all, what is an enum? An enum is a special data type that lets you define a set of named constants. Using an enum makes sense when you know that a variable of this type can only be a value of a small set of possible values. Since you are using named constants inside an enum, it increases the readability of your code compared to just using numbers to reference a certain state. Further, it reduces errors since enums restrict a variable to hold only predefined values. But how can we define enums? There are two ways and we will check out both of them. In this example, we'll define an enum for representing possible directions. So up, down, left, and right. So what you need to use to define an enum in Unreal Engine is the uenum macro, the enum keyword, and the name for your custom enum type. This one should always start with an uppercase E. And as you can see, we can define the possible options inside the enum by using simple names. However, when comparing the two ways to define an enum, you will see that in the second option, we also use the class keyword. But why? Traditional enums have a few problems. The first being that the values have a global scope and you can access them without using a specified scope. Further, if you have two different enum types that share the same value, it will cause problems since it would be impossible to know which enum you are referencing to just by looking at the value. Additionally, for the same reason, it also reduces the readability of your code. Another problem of traditional enums is that they have no type safety. In an enum, internally, a numeric value gets linked to the constant that you have defined in your enum. So enum values can be implicitly casted to integers which allows to compare enums directly to integers themselves. However, in this case, you would be unsure what the value one means, making it hard to read the code without an additional comment. What you can also do is compare enums of two different types. For example, you have two enums that handle color options and you would be able to compare instances of the different enums with each other, which can lead to unwanted behavior. So. As you can see, all the problems mentioned are issues that don't have to exist depending on how you write your code. However, it is possible to prevent those issues right away by using the enum class declaration. And this is also the way Epic Games recommends to declare your enums. When using enum class, you have to specify the scope before using them, making your code already more readable and prevents possible errors from having the same value in two different enums. Further, you are also not allowed to implicitly convert your enum to an integer. Again, enforcing readability of your code and preventing you from comparing variables of different enum types. However, you would still be able to explicitly cast your enum to an integer if necessary. Therefore, you can see that enum classes provide great support for you by preventing you from making unwanted mistakes. Overall, enums are a great way to represent a small space of possible options in a readable way. Further, enums can easily be combined with if or switch case statements. In an upcoming video, we will also look at how we can link our C++ enums to blueprints. If you already have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, see you next time.